I just want to be happy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God for you being with us today. This is our noonday prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Tuesday through Friday, we go before the Lord together as a family of God. Amen. As a auspice of believers. Amen. Hallelujah. As a prayer band to talk to God on the behalf of each other and others, people in hospitals and prison wards, whatever they may be going through. Amen. Hallelujah. You. Amen. We coming together to pray. Amen. In the name of Jesus, put in your prayer requests, praise reports. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God might have gave you a new house over the weekend, whatever it may be. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, let us know what's going on. We had to hallelujah say goodbye to our friend on Saturday. Amen. Uh, Brother Nelson, I want to ask you to continually pray for his family, especially his son. Keep him before the Lord. Amen. And an agape family who has suffered a great loss. Amen. Hallelujah. In losing this young man. Thank you all who came to the service. Amen. And participated. Amen. And made that service great. Amen. So we thank God for you and people still talking about it. Amen. <clears throat> and so they uh, sending in words of condolences and appreciation for honoring this man. Amen. So we thank God for that. We thank God for you. Amen. We ask you to continue to pray for his family and friends and his agape family. Amen. We thank, amen, the Roberts Memorial um, United Methodist Church on South Washington Street. We thank them for opening up their doors and, and just basically he told me, Pastor uh, Danielly, he just said, Pastor, it's yours. Amen. You have the run of the facility. Just do what you need to do. And a lot of pastors don't do that. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm highly appreciative, uh, appreciative of him doing that and opening up his doors and allowing us, amen, to have this service, amen, at his facility, amen, in the name of Jesus and all those who helped, amen, Sister uh, Mabel Comfort who contacted Pastor Danley, amen, we thank God for him, amen, hallelujah, amen, and, uh, and for her reaching out <clears throat> and wanting to, um, help us amen and pastor uh reverend driscoll uh pastor of Bulo baptist church he called us amen we were trying to call everybody trying to get a location and a place a facility to have the service he called me he said pastor listen uh his parents was members of this church he grew up in this church amen hallelujah y'all can have the service here amen no cost amen so i was appreciative of reverend driscoll as well of Bulo Baptist Church, amen. It was the date, it was the schedule that was a conflict, amen. And so, um, um, so we had it, we was able to have it earlier if we went to Robertsville Memorial and we did, amen, so we had the service. So, so we're just grateful to the Lord for all of you who has been praying, <laughs> everybody who has been praying and looking, amen, hallelujah, uh, and praying toward that family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And they still need your prayer. So continually pray for uh, same name, Rodney Nelson. It's just Rodney Nelson Jr. instead of Rodney Nelson Sr. Put him on your prayer list. Amen. We'll put him in our prayer book. We're going to spiritually adopt him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How about that? Can we spiritually adopt this young man? Amen. And keep him before the Lord. Amen. And pray for him in his life. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, amen. God bless you. <clears throat> Have a smile upon you today. We are in the book of Proverbs, the third chapter. Amen. Hallelujah. One through ten. First through the tenth verses. We're going to talk about Jesus take the wheel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. In that song, Kurt Franklin and, and Carrie Underwood sings this. So I didn't listen to it, but she sings the song, Jesus take the wheel. Hallelujah. But I, I like Kurt. Amen because he was preaching amen hallelujah you're tired of things being the same if you're tired of things not changing amen the reason why it's not changing because you're doing the same thing over and over and over again and you're expecting a different result amen hallelujah amen and all the things to change we have to be the agent of change amen we have to follow the agent of change god who has sorry times and diverse manner spaking time passing to the father having these last days spoken to us by his son hebrew one tells us uh, hebrews one tells us that amen hallelujah god has always been shifting and moving and changing amen hallelujah he made the garden of eden perfect amen didn't need to tilt the soil 
Amen. Hallelujah. But the mist came up from the ground and watered the plants. Amen. Hallelujah. But they, they, they forsook God and listened to the devil and got kicked out of the garden. Amen. But God shifted after that. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody's coming that's going to, amen, bruise the serpent's head. But the serpent's going to bruise his heel. In other words, amen, he got to die to save the world. Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus died to save the world. Amen. Hallelujah. His blood makes us whole. His blood makes us complete. Amen. Hallelujah. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And so God has always been changing and shifting. He used the judges. Amen. Hallelujah. He used the kings. He used the prophets. Amen. Before that. Amen. Use the men of God. Amen. And the people of God and the women of God. God has used whomever he wants to use. He's sovereign. He's God. And that's just the way it is. Amen. He do, do things on a divine way, but he has done things. He has shifted. Amen. Hallelujah. In the way that he approaches us. Amen. In the name of Jesus, because his his will. Amen. Is us for us to be together. Amen. Hallelujah. For 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 us to do things according to the word of God and for amen us to be in communion amen that's why he walked out through the garden in the cool of the day not to get on adam and eve not to kick them out of the garden but because he visited his, us amen he did it with uh, moses amen a pillar of fire by night a pillar of smoke by day amen the shekinah glory covered the mountain amen because he wanted to be hallelujah in our presence as we are in his presence amen hallelujah if you abide in me my word abide in you ask what you will and it shall be given unto you Amen. Hallelujah. We need to seek God in a sovereign way. We need to seek God. Amen. Intentionally. Hallelujah. Amen. A man sings a song. Travis Green sings a song. He's intentional. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He's intentional. How never failing. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we have to be intentional. And in the season, we, we stepped over into April. Don't be an April fool. Hallelujah. Amen. As we step into this new month, let's move. Let's march toward. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, uh, Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. Amen. Let's march toward the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Holy Week. Amen. Palm Sunday. Amen. Let's get closer to God. Turn down the plate. Turn down those things that you don't. Amen. You know it ain't good for you. Amen. Turn down those things. Amen. That, that the flesh cry out for and allow God <clears throat> to have full control in your life. Do you want to be happy? If I didn't use, amen, Jesus take the wheel, I certainly could use that. Do you want to be happy? Amen. So uh, Proverbs 3, so, um, Solomon, amen, the, one, the wisest king that ever lived. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And so um, he brings, <clears throat> he brings uh, David to to the people of Israel, amen, uh, Absalom and all the other uh, sons, amen, tried to, the sons of Saul tried to overthrow David as king, amen, but he, uh, so when Solomon gets into power, he doesn't try to throw David aside, he doesn't, he doesn't put David away, he said, hear the words of my father, Amen. Hallelujah. And so when he says, my son, forget not my law, he's not talking about Solomon talking to Rehoboam. It wasn't, he wasn't talking to his son. He was, it was David talking to him. And so he, he shared the words, amen, of David with the children of Israel, some words that they had never heard before. Amen. And so he shared David with the people. So David really, he was gone physically, but he had not died because Solomon carried David on with the people that showed his wisdom. Amen. They can't reject David. You may reject, you rejected Absalom. You may reject the sons of Saul. Amen. You might even reject Solomon, but you're not going to reject, reject David. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. David was so powerful until they called Jesus the son of David. Amen. Hallelujah. Out of lineage. Amen. I understand that. Hallelujah. But, but they, 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 they held that name in high esteem. Amen. Hallelujah. So these are the words of David. Hear the words of the king of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, my son, forget not my law. Don't forget the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As paraphrase what God has given to David and given to the people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. God is letting us know that we not to forget what he has given to us as rules and regulations for, amen, the world today. Forget not my law, but, but let thy heart keep my commandments. In other words, not just doing it out of ritual, not just doing it because it's supposed to do it, amen, hallelujah, but do it because you love to serve the Lord, because you're going to be closer to God, amen, hallelujah, amen. Let not thy heart... <clears throat> 
but let thy heart keep my commandments. It's in my heart. It's not just a sign outside on the street. Amen. It's a part of me. Obedience is a part of me. Amen. Righteousness is a part of me. Hallelujah. For a length of days and long life and peace shall be, shall they add to thee. Amen. As long as we keep the commandments, we're going to prosper. Hallelujah. I would that you prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prospers. As we, as we carry the law of God. Amen. Hallelujah. As we obey what he's given to us. Amen. Our life become blessed. Amen. How do you want to be happy? Hallelujah. And that not mercy. Let not mercy. Uh, Psalms 3 and 3 says, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Hallelujah. Write them upon the table of thy heart. Amen. Like I said, not just in, in ritual, not just in tradition. It's a part of who I am. It's a part of what I do. Amen. I'm a believer. Hallelujah. Amen. Thomas, not Thomas Whitfield, Timothy Wright. Amen. Yes, I'm a believer. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not just, amen, not for show, not just on Sunday between 11 and 2. Amen. Hallelujah. This is, amen, who I am. This is what I do. Praise is what I do. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise and magnify and lift up the name of God. Hallelujah. So shall thy found, thy found favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Lord, that's a trick right there. Hallelujah. Amen. To get favor in the sight of God and man. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It remind me of the book of Acts when they had favor with God and all the people. It said in Acts, amen, hallelujah, the first church, that first century church, amen, hallelujah. They had it because they gave it over to the Lord and he worked it out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Why are you trying to figure it out? God has already worked it out and we give it over to the hands of the Lord. Amen. He can handle it. He made the world. He made us uh, and put us in this world. Amen. Hallelujah. And gave us dominion over this world. He told Adam, amen. You have to do everything that move. You have authority over everything that move, everything that creep, everything that fly, everything that swim, everything that moveth upon the face of the earth. You have dominion over it. So if we stand in our right position as believers in Christ Jesus. That position is a is a position of authority. And so we shouldn't be falling prey to all of these things that we see, amen, going on in the lives of believers today. We should be, amen, taking the authority over these things. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord, amen, presenting our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service and being not conformed to this world, but being transformed by the renewing of our minds. So it shouldn't be the world, amen, transformed transforming us or shaping us it should be us shaping this world amen hallelujah and transforming this world amen into the divine kingdom of heaven hallelujah thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven hallelujah thank you jesus and so shalt thou found favor and good understanding in the sight of god and man here's our key verse trust in the lord Hallelujah. With all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding in all thy ways. Acknowledge him. Jesus take the will. Hallelujah. And he shall direct thy path. Hallelujah. He, he'll drive the car. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In all thy ways, in everything that we do, everything that we everywhere we go. Hallelujah. Everything that we strive to be. Acknowledge him. Hallelujah. In all thy ways, and he shall direct thy paths. Amen. He knows the road. Amen. Hallelujah. He knows the road that you need to take. He made the road. He know the dirt. He know the signs. He know every tree. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says even the trees praise him. Uh, they give him glory, honor, and praise. Don't you see them branches lifted up to heaven? Hallelujah. Giving God praise, honor, and glory for the things that he has done. Great is the Lord, and he's worthy to be praised. And we praise him. We magnify him. We lift him up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so not only on Sunday morning, not just when we hear a good song and worship time and devotion time. Amen. But we will bless the Lord. Hallelujah. At all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. The old song says, can't stop praising his name. I just can't stop praising his name. I just can't stop praising his name. Jesus, I got to praise him. I just want to praise him forever and ever for all you've done for me. Blessings and glory and honor. They all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. So I'm going to praise him. I'm going to lift him up. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm going to acknowledge him in all my ways and everything that I do. 
Amen. And he's going to, where he leads me, I will follow. I'll go with him all the way. Be not wise, the seventh verse says, in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Amen. Hallelujah. It shall be health to thy navel. Amen. And marrow to thy bones. It'll be good for you. It'll be good to you and good for you. Everything that's good to you ain't good for you. Hallelujah. Amen. But it'll be good to you and good for you. Honor the Lord with thy substance. Amen. With the first fruit of all thine and increase. And so shall thy bonds be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Hallelujah. You will have the abundance, amen, of what you need in life. God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. Prove me this day. See, won't I open up the window of heaven, pour you out a blessing. You don't have room enough to receive. You have not because we ask not. Ask and it shall be given. Seeking you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah unto him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, Pastor, I've been praying and praying and praying and crying. I'm crying and praying. I'm sick and tired of going through this. And I'm praying. I've been talking to the Lord about this for many times. Amen. Yeah, that's the problem. We just been giving him the prayer. We just been making the request, but we have not given him ourselves. Hallelujah. Lord God, thank you. Hallelujah. Just give him you. Hallelujah. Amen. Give him your life, your life, your heart, your mind. Amen. Lord, I'm available to you. My will. I give to you. I'll do what you say. Do use me, Lord. Hallelujah. To show somebody the way. Enable me to say, Hallelujah. My storage is empty and I'm available. What kind of sense would it make, amen, for you to live for the devil and do everything the devil say, wear the devil clothes and for God to bless you? Hallelujah. He's not going to bless you. Amen. God's not going to use an unclean vessel. Come out from among them. Be you separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Hallelujah. If you're willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. If you rebuke and rebel, we shall be devoured with sword. Hallelujah. We ought to trust in God and believe on him. As the scriptures have said, hallelujah. And out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. Hallelujah. If we just believe, we got to believe, but you got to act on faith without works is dead. Hallelujah. I want God. I want a new refrigerator. I need a new car. Hallelujah. I want this. I want that. Amen. I want this and I want that. I want a good job. I want to make, amen, 60K a year. Hallelujah. I want this. Amen. Hallelujah. But I can't make it to church on Sunday. I won't come to Sunday school. Hallelujah. No Bible class. I won't make it to noonday prayer. Amen. All I got to do is cut my phone on and press a button and I can hear noonday prayer, but I can't do that right now. Hallelujah. My favorite soap is on. I need to see, amen, if they get married and that, if, they, if she find out about this other one or that. Hallelujah. I got to listen to the real housewives. I can't I can't give you any time, but I want you to open up the window of heaven, pour out a blessing that I don't have room enough to receive. I, I'm not going to give you the wheel. I've been driving all these years. I'm going to keep driving. I, I'm a driver, not a rider. Hallelujah. You can't have the wheel of my car. Hallelujah. Let me govern my life, but I need you to bless me. Amen. What kind of sense did that make? Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, take the will. Hallelujah. I don't, I don't have no business with it anyway. He said, trust in the Lord. In other words, put it in his hands. Hallelujah. With all the heart, with everything that's within you. Hallelujah. Amen. And don't even lean toward, don't even look over there to what you would do. I can't go back to the way it used to be. Hallelujah. Before your love came and changed me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Take me forward. Hallelujah. If I go back, take me back to the place where I first received you. Hallelujah. Take me back to the place where I first believed. Hallelujah. But God, as far as my life is concerned, forgetting those things that are behind me and reaching forward to those things that are ahead of me. Hallelujah. I press toward the mark of a high calling in Christ Jesus. You brought me out all right. Hallelujah. You brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. You made a way. You saved me. Hallelujah. You brought me out of darkness. Hallelujah. You lift me up out of a horrible pit, place my feet upon the rock, establish my going, put a new song in my lips, a praise unto our God. And I'm going to praise you. I'm going to glorify you. I'm going to lift you up from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Lord, your name is worthy to be praised. It's not about my happiness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. My, my meat is to do the will of my father and to finish his work. Hallelujah. So we press and, and along the journey, your feet us, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord God, when we're walking by the way, you'll lead us. Hallelujah. The fatness of the land, your feet us. Imagine in the sky, your deed us and all the high places. Hallelujah. You'll bring down. Prove me and see when I open up the window of heaven, pour you out a blessing. Hallelujah. That you don't have room enough to receive. Hallelujah. My children, not just my son, my, my children, forsake not my law. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But keep it. Amen. Put it. Make it a part of you. Amen. Get it in your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And you're going to have good success. You're going to be blessed. Hallelujah. Give him the first fruits of thine increase. Amen. That means if I was making $5 an hour, amen. Hallelujah. And I made $6 an hour, that first dollar belonged to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That first dollar, the first fruit of thy increase. Amen. Hallelujah. It belongs to God. In other words, amen. I wouldn't have got it if you didn't give it to me. Hallelujah. The earth is the lowest and the fullness of the world, the world and they that dwell therein. I would not have it. Amen. I wouldn't make it to the job if you didn't give me breath. Amen. To get up. Amen. To wake up in the morning to get to work. Amen. Hallelujah. So whatever I receive, I'm going to make you a part of my job. I'm going to make you a part of what I receive, my finances. I'm making you a part of my life. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to make you my life. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Amen. And that what Paul was talking about over there in Romans, the sixth chapter. If we be planted with him by baptism, we're going to rise to walk in the newness of life. Hallelujah. Amen. So we be buried with him through baptism. Amen. If we go down in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. And we rise to walk in the newness of life. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the new life that he has given to all of us. Amen. He's available to us. We sing, Lord, I'm available to you, but he's always been available to us. Jesus. Hallelujah. Take this wheel. Hallelujah. Jesus, take my life. Hallelujah. I give it to you, Lord God. Hallelujah. It wasn't mine in the first place. Hallelujah. It wasn't mine in the first place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to trust him. I'm going to believe on him. Hallelujah. I'm going to put my faith in him. Y'all know some of these. Some, uh, it almost got out. Hallelujah. Some of these folk that you put your trust in and you set up deals and contracts and agreements and sometimes marriages and relationships. Hallelujah. Amen. And it didn't go five minutes before you saw the real them. Hallelujah. Amen. And that thing just broke down so fast. Hallelujah. But my brothers, my sisters, I'm coming to let you know today, if you give Jesus the wheel, Hallelujah. Y'all know in those training cars, amen, people learning how to drive, they put two wheels in there. They put two sets of brakes in there. Hallelujah. Amen. They don't put in two accelerators because they don't want to go faster. Hallelujah. Amen. But they put two sets of brakes in there. Amen. Because if that child messes up, that, that trainer, amen, from the passenger seat can press the brake. Hallelujah. If they have to. Amen. In some cases, they can take over the wheel. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know how to drive. I'm taking the wheel. If y'all ever been in a car, I've trained a couple of people how to drive. Lord Jesus, you be praying. Amen. You're praying hard. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You save show sure enough by the time you get out that car. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they don't know how to drive. They have to learn how to drive. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We got to practice being in relationship with him. We're so independent. We, we think we're so self-sufficient. Amen. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Bless me now, my Savior. I'm coming to you, God. I can't do this by myself. I shouldn't be doing it by myself. Cast all my cares on you, Lord God, for you care for me. I give this, God. Take this. Take it, Lord. Hallelujah. I can't stand this thing anymore. Hallelujah. I'm sick and tired of going through this. I'm sick and tired of messing it up. Like the woman with the issue, it grew worse. Not only did it get, it didn't get better, it grew worse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It grew. I don't need my pain to grow. I don't need my sickness to grow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't need the devil to grow in my life. I need him to go now to grow hallelujah in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah so i want to give it to jesus give it all to the lord cast all my cares on him amen hallelujah and press toward the mark of a high calling and leave selfishness and self-centeredness and leave the devil and hook up with jesus how to line up with his word amen hallelujah and and go forward Amen. Higher heights and deeper depths in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Take this thing. Hallelujah. Hey, God, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, take this thing. Hallelujah. Take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't take it. You take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't handle it. You handle it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And my friend, if you do that, that's the best thing. That's the smartest thing you could ever do is get that thing out of your hands and put it in the hands of the man that healed the waters. Amen. Hallelujah. That, that, that calmed the sea. Hallelujah. Amen. The man from Galilee. Hallelujah. Amen. Put your hands in the hands of the man. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If I had some old folk singers in here, hallelujah. They could sing that song for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take it out of your hands and put it in God's hands. Those are the best hands. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says with his own right arm, with his own right hand, he wrought salvation. Hallelujah. When he could swear by none other, he swore by himself. Amen. So we're going to trust this guy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You're going to put it in your hands and you're going to try to drive it. Amen. Hallelujah. You're going to put it in. Amen. Somebody that knows how to drive. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. You out there trying to play baseball. Amen. Hallelujah. You should put it out there in somebody's hand that know how to play the game. Hallelujah. The pitcher and the catcher. Amen. And the hitter. Amen. Hallelujah. Football. Same thing. Whatever you do in word or deed, do it all to the glory of God. Amen. Jesus. Take the will. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God bless your family. Amen. In Jesus' name. We're going to pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We're looking for God to deliver. We're looking for God to make a way out of no way. We're looking for God to open doors to seem closed. We're looking for God. Amen. To take the will. Hallelujah. Amen. Take this will. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we want God to be glorified in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Teaching real good, Pastor. Thank you, Sister Faith. God bless you. Amen. And we can just let go for five seconds. Amen. Of our life. We think we running things. We don't run nothing. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness they run the world, and they that dwell therein. Amen. So the sooner you let go and let God, the better off your life is going to be. Uh, the more you try to control, the more you're going to realize that you're out of control. Hallelujah. The more that you try to control, I said, amen, the more you're going to realize that you're out of control because you're trying to take what God has placed, amen, and run it yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's like going to like a preschool and get one of the little kids or something to try to drive a NASCAR. It don't make sense. Amen. Get the ones, get the one that know how to drive, put them in there and let them go. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus, when we move out the way, let him have his way. Amen. And the sooner we do it, the better our lives will be. Hallelujah and amen. Hallelujah. Trying to get people to let go. Hallelujah. Amen. And let God have his way. Hallelujah. Old Cortez says, Hallelujah. You ought to let go and let God have his way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've been praying and praying a long time. You ought to let go and let God out of his way. Amen. We do a whole prayer. Prayer half an hour, crying, laying all over the floor, getting all dirty. Hallelujah. Amen. Sick and tired of being sick and tired and praying and praying and praying. And all you got to do is believe the condemnation. Amen. The late great Elder Thompson used to say that all the time. Amen. Hallelujah. The condemnation is of man. Man is that they don't believe. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to believe on him. As the scripture have said, and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. Go ahead and put in your prayer request again. Praying for Brother Rodney Nelson Jr. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep him before the Lord. Uh, all those in hospitals and prison was to, to, uh, Minister Tina Moultrie, amen, her fiance passed away, amen, his friend was the same day as Rodney's, amen, and Brother Rodney Nelson, his senior, amen, hallelujah, so all those, a lot of people passed away, amen, but we praying for all of them, everything is going to be all right, amen, because we're going to put it in God's hands, hallelujah, I said everything's going to be all right, amen, really, I shouldn't even have to need to pray today, to be honest with you, hallelujah, amen, if you got the word today, Amen. Things are going to change in your life. I shouldn't have to say anything. Hallelujah. Amen. No, I ain't have to. Lord, the heavenly Father, I wouldn't have to approach the throne of grace today in the name of Jesus. You know, amen. We don't go through these long, pretty prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. Call on the name of the Lord. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord. He told Moses, I hear the cry of my people. Not that guy up there trying to sound pretty, praying. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He hear the cry of his people. Hallelujah. We don't cry out to God. We need to cry out to, to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Humbly submit ourselves to him and lay before him. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And watch God work. God has always worked. Amen. His word has always worked. We don't always follow his word. Amen. That's where our um, problem comes from. Amen. Us trying to drive what God has created. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. So he made it. God has everything, and everything belongs to him. And we are trying to drive what God has built, the car that God has built. And you can't drive that car. Only he can drive it. Amen. So get out there from the front of the, from the wheel. Sometimes the kids will jump up. Amen. And they jump in the driver's seat and they bounce in the chair and try to turn the wheel. Amen. Knowing if that car was moving, you turn the wheel like you'd be in somebody's living room. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you don't you can't drive that vehicle. You're not big enough. You're not strong enough. You don't have enough knowledge, enough knowledge of the road. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, to drive this car. Amen. This car of life. Give it over to the Lord. 
and watch him work it out. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for this day that you have made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. We're going to ask your blessings upon your people today. Bless, touch, and deliver right now in the name of Jesus. Make a way out of nowhere. Open doors to see and close and move in the lives of your people. Bless our heart, mind, soul. Lord God, help us as your children to believe in you, to trust in you, to be obedient to your word and your truth. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we ask, Lord God, upon everybody that's listening, Lord God, hallelujah, that you bless their life, Lord God, bless their walk, bless the, Lord God, hallelujah, the lives that they have, everybody that has this vehicle of life, Lord God, help them to give the will to you, Lord God, give control over to you, Lord God, and let you work it out in their life, bless us, Lord God, from the crown of our heads, Lord God, bless every home, every family, Lord God, every person represented here today, move right now in the name of Jesus, those that are in need of physical blessing, they need healing right now, Lord God, you was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquity, your chastisement a piece upon your shoulders and with every stripe that you was whipped with we you are healed Lord God we are healed and we speak healing and deliverance amen hallelujah to your people right now in the name of Jesus somebody in need amen a financial blessing Lord God we ask you to open up the window of heaven pour them out a blessing they don't have room enough to receive heal touch and deliver right now in the name of Jesus financially emotional somebody's going over the emotional roller coaster Lord God Amen. And being tossed to and fro. Amen. By the whim of others, Lord God. And Lord Jesus, help us. Amen. Trust you today, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we want you to direct their path, Lord God. Help us to trust you, Lord God, and give our life to you. And Lord God, not to so many people around us, Lord God. Hallelujah. We give our lives to people we don't even know. Hallelujah. Every day. Hallelujah. But won't give our life to you, Lord God. I ask you, Lord. Hallelujah. To take control. Amen. Take the wheel. Amen. And, and lead us to righteousness. Lead us to holiness. Lead us to prosperity. Lead us to blessing, Lord God. And lead us to and guide us into all truth. Lord God, move, touch, and deliver by the power of your holy word. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And amen. <clears throat> Thank you, family. God bless you, everybody. I had the um, the listeners turn down. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do this a little bit backwards. But if you had a request and you wanted to give it, you still can. Amen. And we'll write it down and we'll pray for it. Amen. As we go on in Jesus' name. Or if you wanted to pray, you can pray behind the pastor. I'm sorry. I had, I had you guys turn down. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. But God bless you in the name of Jesus. We thank God for all of you. And I certainly appreciate everybody being with us on this journey of life. I want everybody, please, to uh, gear up for Holy Week. Amen. The 14th, April 14th through 21st. Amen. We have an amen. Palm Sunday, Monday night prayer, uh, Wednesday night teaching. We're going to talk about um, return. We're going to talk about return. Amen. Hallelujah. That's going to be the subject of that teaching. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, that Thursday, we want to have Holy Communion. Amen. Especially want the staff to be here for that because Jesus had communion with his staff. He didn't have communion with the whole church. He had communion with his staff. Hallelujah. Amen. With his disciples. Amen. Hallelujah. So we want the followers of Christ and the, and the staff of Agape to be here. Amen. That Thursday night for the uh, Holy Communion. Amen. But you are certainly welcome to be here for that. That Friday, the seven last cries. Amen. From the cross. Amen. Hallelujah. Seven last cries. Good Friday service. Amen. Y'all welcome to be here for that good Friday service. Sunday morning. Amen. Easter Sunday morning, the 21st. Amen. Uh, we have a guest preacher. Um, amen. Pastor Bob Marshall will be coming to speak on resurrection for our resurrection service. Amen. So y'all come on out and hear this young man. Amen. Come and speak. Amen. For our resurrection Sunday. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And so um, we're looking forward to having a high time and we want to be it's holy week and we don't have to wait till that week. Amen. To become holy. And from Easter to Pentecost, 50 days. That's what Pentecost means. 50th, the 50th. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to be having our 50 days of prayer and fasting. Amen. 12 hours. Amen. And whatever your 12 is. Amen. Put your 12 uh, hours of fasting. It could be 6, eight, uh, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Amen. Whatever those 12 hours are. Amen. We want to ask you to do your 12 hour fast for 50 days. Amen. Straight. Amen. In the name of Jesus from Easter Sunday 
to Pentecost Sunday. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Easter, we might have dinner and everything, but we probably go home. We we'll probably get home around 7, then so 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So, uh, but we want to pray too as well. Amen. And keep it before the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. Amen. Keep us in prayer. Our march for Agape was extremely great success. The best one I can remember. Amen. It was the best one financially and spiritually. We thank God for everybody who gave toward that. Amen. Hallelujah. March for Agape. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So um, thank you all for what you've been doing and supporting and sustaining this ministry. I thank you. Amen. Everything counts. Every dollar counts. Amen. So thank you all for what you've been doing. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow, noonday, tomorrow night, Bible class. Amen. You certainly come out or you can listen in for Bible class on tomorrow night. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So, amen. Our closing scripture, 1 Timothy, 1st chapter, 17th verse. Amen. Hallelujah. Now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, Amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape Way. God bless you, family. I'll see you next time in Jesus' name. God bless you. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.